our focus here is, is to provide pro-human alternatives or approaches to um, the discourse, especially on you know, very hot button topics. Um, how, what does pro-human mean to you and how, does, how can everyday people kind of you know, um, reach that, approach these issues in, in a way that, that is more in line with, with that value? That's a great question. I mean, and pro-human is a great term that I think, um, you know, it causes me to reflect. I think uh, people should ask themselves or be asked to ask themselves what it would look like to be pro-human. I think that that would mean that we would all have the burden of not allowing ourselves to engage with and see each other as um, stereotypes or as a uh, group avatars of groups or, or, um, embodiments of arguments that we disagree with, but as actually like fully complex and paradoxical and complicated and contradictory individuals who probably like, you know, Barack Obama said, love their kids, want to have a better tomorrow than today was, you know, basically want what they think of as, as a, as a good life, even if from our perspective, their conception of the good is flawed. Um, for me, that pro-human injunction is kind of a call to be more tolerant because you're recognizing, you're extending the kind of uh, grace and benefit of the doubt that we, off, that, we, that we always extend to ourselves in, in comprehension of our own full humanity. You're extending that to other people instead of reducing them to caricatures and stereotypes. Mm-hmm. 